Welcome to Barcelona and the UniCredit Youth America's Cup. The regatta started with a bang yesterday, providing some dramatic sailing. In rough seas and strong winds, the future AC75 sailors rose to the challenge like the young rock stars they are. Luno Rosa delivered a statement win in race one, followed by American Magic's classy victory in race two. Group A has another two races scheduled for today. Group B will get their turn tomorrow. This is what the 12 teams are competing for, the UniCredit Youth America's Cup trophy. After yesterday's high energy racing, we know the sailors are keen for more. Sadly, technical issues have forced the Americans and French to withdraw, but it's all go for the remaining four, so let's head to the start box for race three. One minute, 22 and counting, 14 boats. Uh, looks like it's going to be France instructed not to race and American Magic stuck at the top of the course. So let's focus now on these boats because Luna Rossa in the front of the fleet with American Magic, but now these other three boats can start the chase for more points. Remember, top three in each group after eight fleet races go through to the semi-finals. Forty seconds to go. Luna Rossa, Prada Pirelli, heading back to the line. Final approach. I love a mix of half English, half Italian on board. Luna Rossa, Prada Pirelli. Right, Doms. British and Swiss on port. Inside the last 10 seconds, we are almost to go. Race three of the UniCredit Youth America's Cup is on. A big band of breeze coming down through the middle of the line there. So punching out it was New Zealand. Great start. Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli 10 metres back. Big left hand shift there, Shirley, by the look of things. So you've got an early advantage there for the Kiwis. They should be able to attack and cross. The Italians there attacking away. Big left hand shift there. So the Italians on a really nice angle through the middle of the course there. Crazy breeze today. We can see it from this aerial shot, just puffs dropping from above. Really, really shifting puffy, so an eyes out of the boat day and absolutely perfect conditions here. Emirates Team New Zealand there sailing through that puff and right over to that left hand side. I've got the Italians there making a really big gain by tacking early and just going around the fan of that breeze coming down through the middle. So big gains. You see the New Zealanders coming back through there, probably 10 or 15 degrees lower angle than what the Italians were. So really nice job there, Italy tacking early and taking advantage of that shift and puff. British Shirley crossing with the Kiwis here. Really close cross coming up here. British right away yacht. Just crossing there, so the Swiss also not far behind the Kiwis, so big gain to Luna Rossa, Prada Pirelli taking that early shift, so they'll be hoping to get across and consolidate their lead if they can. Luna Rossa, Prada Pirelli there, just crossing ahead there of the British and oh. they're going to have to work hard to stay from getting sailed around here. I'm not sure it's the day for aggressive defending like that. They managed to pull it off. Really close battle here. So it's a race to the top mark and race number three of the UniCredit Youth America's Cup. Oh, really close intersection there. 
Emirates Team New Zealand stay in the lead. They go around that right-hand mark, followed by Athena Pathways, Great Britain, and Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli. We have a race today. Penalty Italy. Penalty Italy relative GBR. Oh, so the Italians there needing to clear that penalty, so deciding to jibe to wash that off. And a big penalty there in these conditions. Just having another look at that, Mark Rounding. Just too close there and not keeping clear to windward, so the Italians having to keep clear, not doing quite enough. Just see the electronic boundaries here, Shirley, and the British there coming up, and the Italians just not doing quite enough to, to keep clear, and the umpires spotting that, that they should have done more to actually keep clear, and the British there having to turn down to avoid, so penalty Italy. I think the helmsman Ugolini was expecting the boat underneath to bear away. This is the race committee. We are moving the windward gate, shortening the course to 0 0.9 nautical miles and shifting the axis to 0 0.55. Emirates Team New Zealand having a good start to day number two of the Unique Credit Youth America's Cup and the battle between them. And oh, you can hear that they weren't happy with that. Against Luna Rosa Prada, brilliant behind them. There was a touchdown earlier by Athena Pathways, Great Britain. Oh, an absolute shocking jibe by the Kiwis there, and they will pay the price for that down to under 20 knots and the Italians 35 knots just ripping down so unlucky there for the Kiwis but pressure now on the Italians to consolidate that really nice good breeze coming down through the middle of the course here just getting really high on the foils there, the Kiwis, and spinning out, so. So Little Rosa Prada really take advantage of the touchdown by Emirates Team New Zealand and get back into the lead of this third race of Group A, the America's Cup teams. They will be followed through by Emirates Team New Zealand. Athena Pathways, Great Britain have got themselves sorted up that touchdown midway through the, the halfway point of this first downwind leg. So just a couple of wobbles there from Emirates Team New Zealand towards the bottom of the course there and they've coughed up a bit of distance to the Italians so they need to really get the boat locked in here and sail some smart shifts. Oh, beautiful tack on board the Italians. A lot of gear changes here with the sail, so big job for the trimmers on both sides of the boat. In these wavy conditions and puffy and shiftiness, they'll be going from almost max power to max D power, so using the full range of what the sails can provide in these conditions. Little position change behind them. I think the pathways Great Britain go into position two, and Emirates Team New Zealand position three is Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli approach the halfway mark in race three. The most impressive thing is them being able to get out of trouble. It happened yesterday, and they got out of trouble quickly. They've done it again today, and they will lead this four boat fleet. Around the top gate to complete the halfway mark in race three of the Unicredit Youth America's Cup. 39 knot bear away on board. Luna Rossi Prada Pirelli sailing the boat beautifully. The Italian boys. Beautiful too poured in. Yeah, yeah, too poured in. Safe bear away. Not taking any risks. Luna Rossa, one more manoeuvre here, and they will be taking full points. Oh, a little skip there, pushing the right height hard. 
Need to rebuild and get that manoeuvre in, so... Really pushing the ride height hard and just punching through the back of a wave there, but got big enough lead that they can get away with a couple of wobbles, so I just need to pull this last jibe off. They do so well at limiting the damage. Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli. They're about to notch up win number two in the Unicredit Youth Americas Cup and bag the full 10 points. It has been smooth, it has been controlled, it has been calm. They are setting the benchmark and they get the win in a race three of the Unicredit Youth Americas Cup. Yeah, complimenti to the Italian team. Really, really well sailed. A great job there. They'll be happy with four points. The British just doing enough, it seems, Shirley, to hold off Emirates Team New Zealand. Yeah, a good result this for them. Remember, it's all about being in the top three when we time when we come to the time of the cut. This will be a valuable seven points to Athena Pathways, Great Britain. And they'll be happy with the way they performed in this third race. So they will get across the line, back some points, and now prepare themselves for race number four. Yeah, definitely a keeper for the British there. And not too far behind Emirates Team New Zealand. They'll pick up five points. But they've still got a lot of work to do. Home for third, Emirates Team New Zealand. That yeah, was a difficult race, as you could see. The state is pretty big, almost one meter of waves. But we did a good start. Uh, not a perfect tack on the first half win, so we were uh, all together on the top, but then we managed to sail well for all the course. And I'm proud of the boys, as always. Now we go for the next one. So the Italians have laid down the gauntlet to their youthful challenges. They are clearly the team to beat. Can they make it three wins out of four? Don't go away. There's plenty more high-speed AC40 sailing to come after the break. Welcome back to day two of the Unicredit Youth America's Cup. The Americans and French are still out due to technical issues, but the remaining four are green for go. So let's head to the start box for Group A's second fleet race of the day. Kiwis will be coming down and they'll be looking to tack in underneath the Italian team. British looking to do a port start and head out to the right-hand side of the course. Have to just thread the eye of the needle and make sure they don't infringe as they will be the giveaway boat. It's going to be a late tack for the Kiwis. Inside the last ticket, 10 seconds. Here we go, it's race number four, the America's Cup fleet and the Unicredit Youth America's Cup. It's a go. It was like quite a strong one in 30. Impressive recovery from Alinghi Red Bull Racing. They have to get a good result, and they pulled that star out of the bag. That was a time run from off the foils for the Swiss team, but they've managed to get their nose clear and sailing really nicely over that boundary. We just take a moment to look at the speed and the height of Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli. They have hit the nitrous button, the Italians. Beautifully hooked up into a nice lane of pressure there. We'll, we'll not be able to tack and cross Emirates Team New Zealand, though. You see them caving into that left-hand pressure and Emirates Team New Zealand just staying in that right-hand shift. They're going to get out of there while they can, try and sail around the fan of that pressure and take the gain. Let's head on to chase zero with Peter Lester. Peter, once again, the Italians uh, starting beautifully. 
Yeah, great start. What they do, they, they set up wide right and just uh, then they, they've got perfect time on distance. They did that in the first race and they did in the second one and that, that just gives them that good advantage off the line for the Italians. Right now, both all the three boats coming across heading over to the right. Uh, they, they look to be a good breeze, they, those three leading boats. There's a big, big black cloud to the south of us here and I think that's creating a real unstable flow. Well, we could just see the start of that black cloud that Peter's talking about, which is just to the right-hand side of the screen, and that is that has rotated the breeze to the right, and it's sucking the wind pressure, making this so hard for these sailors. A little advantage there to Lunarossa Prada Pirelli, just gauging off Emirates Team New Zealand, so just that vertical separation, sailing about the same speed, but just gauging off, so increasing that distance closer to the wind and taking advantage, getting slightly closer to those top marks. Lovely tack on board. Lunarossa Prada Pirelli, the Kiwis up their exhaust pipe. <laughs> And the Italians, it feels like blink and don't miss it. It feels like uh, race number three, but it is uh, Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli leading Emirates Team New Zealand at the top gate for the first time. This is race four, Unicredit Youth America's Cup. They are the team to chase right now, Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli. More importantly, encouraging signs for Alingi Red Bull Racing. Up and going. They sit in position three at this point at the top gate. Followed closely by Athena Pathways, Great Britain. The Swiss need points. Luna Rossa, Prada Pirelli, Emirates Team New Zealand. They're all putting on a show today. Day two of the Uni Credit Youth America's Cup. The Italians are on, followed closely by Emirates Team New Zealand. You can keep a track of how far they are behind the bottom of your screen. You'll see all the positions and the distance back to the leaders. Big touchdown, Shirley, from the Italians around that mark. And Emirates Team New Zealand just closing the gauge. A huge moment there for Lunarossa Prada Pirelli. Really big vent there on the foils, getting too high, and we've got a real race on our hands now. Italians still have control, heading to the left-hand boundary, but only just. Tack there on board Emirates Team New Zealand. That'll be costly for them. Little gains back to the Italians. But the British, Shirley, nice clean rounding, sailing over into some really good pressure on that right-hand side of the course. So don't be surprised to see them making some gains on the, on the leaders. Potentially close cross coming up here between Athena Pathway and Emirates Team New Zealand. So the British making some big gains. So what we saw there on the screen of that pressure coming down out of the right has given the British some huge gains and they may actually be splitting the difference here. So they've gained a huge amount on this work and a massive gain against Emirates Team New Zealand and then the Swiss in number four, watching it all happening. We've read this story before already today. Luna Rosa, Prada Pirelli at the top gate, leading the fleet to complete the halfway point in race four of the Unicredit Youth America's Cup, followed by Athena Pathways at Great Britain. They will be second around that mark at the top gate. Emirates Team New Zealand trying to find some, some gas to stay in touch with Athena Pathways Great Britain who get around and head home on, or head down on the home fourth leg. 
Oh, and Emirates Team New Zealand, just see the shift that they've sailed into, not even laying that right turn. So really, really difficult there to get back in this in the British and Luna Rossa just doing a really nice job of sailing good numbers and good angles. So on a bad jibe there by Athena Pathway, Great Britain. They need to rebuild quickly there. How quickly it changes in this America's Cup. Shirley just having a look here, possibly what happened on the bridge. Oh, real bad wave. They could have picked their place to jibe there. Low on the foils, putting the boat straight to the crest of that wave. So they've recovered unlucky. well, though. They've recovered well, and that's their most important thing. Bottom gate to complete leg number four. Two to go. At this point for Luna Rosa, Prada Pirelli. Leaders of, the, of Group A, the America's yeah, Cup folks, and the Unicredit Youth America's Cup. The British have another oh, jibe. Kiwis. Oh. oh, they've had an absolute bazaar. Really do a big job here, get the boat rebuilt up to speed. So that'll be a huge loss the for British, MSC New Zealand. Yeah. The British just surviving theirs. Oh, full fit mid jibe. That's an absolute moth classic and fill up the kids' pool. And that's a good way to hit the brakes, which is not what you're wanting to do on the downwind leg. But it opens up the door for Lingy Red Bull Racing as the Tender Pathways Great Britain complete there fourth leg and head up for the second to last in this fourth race. Oh, Luna Rosa, Prada Pirelli leading the fleet home. They will complete uh, the fifth leg. Nothing's perfect in these conditions, but they are leading the fleet comfortably at this point. This would be a big amount of points. Uh, for Alingi Red Bull Racing. They will potentially uh, jump Emirates Team New Zealand the standings after this. We'll just confirm all of that as it comes to fruition. But Saluna Rossa Prada Pirelli. One leg to go. Okay, 20 boys start thinking about it. So the team under pressure now here for points just in this race. There's Athena Pathways Great Britain. Can Alingi Red Bull Racing Get past them. This will be fun to watch. That's your angle. It's going to be a good battle in this last downwind. So the Swiss team having to just stay as close as they can to the British team and keep the pressure on, try and force an error. Swiss team there not being able to lay, so a little left-hand shift there. And having to tack and take right turn. So, Alingi Red Bull Racing. One downwind leg to go. Huge motivation, though. Huge for them to get, get out there, get racing after what's been going on uh, over the last 24 hours. So, this will be a huge boost for the team. Remember, after this, four fleet races left in Group A. Well, the eagle-eyed viewer will have spotted the Kiwi flag. They are up and running. Of course, they are in fourth spot, but so important that they finish this race. They collect as many points as they can. It's good to see. Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli. Oh, having a couple of loose moments themselves there. And the Italians. Oh, nice save. Great trimming. A couple of really loose moments there, but beautifully controlled right on the edge of capsize and this has been the feature in all the races we have seen Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli they, they face danger right in front of them they go nah it's okay we can get out of this and they will get out of it again and bank win number three in the Unicredit Youth America's Cup Italy right now and this fleet are the ones to beat now we basically jive in the in the wave. 
and we had a typically delfination of the foil and my, I did a, I chose a bad moment to drive but we really grip it well and I'm super proud about the boys as always. This regatta is a breeding ground for future champions. Looking at the Unicredit Youth America's Cup scoreboard for Group A, the Italians have emerged as a force to be reckoned with, followed by the Brits, Americans, Kiwis, French and Swiss. Tomorrow, the best of the best from Spain, Germany, the Netherlands, Canada, Sweden and Australia will get a chance to test their skills on the water. And we, of course, will be back with all the high-speed, high-stakes AC40 racing in the Unicredit Youth America's Cup.